The day we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Monday, June 12, 2023, and giving you our team and total picks for today. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and to push the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also check out our Patreon if you want access to our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. You will find the link to our Patreon in the description and comments section below. The Heat lost Game 4 of the NBA Finals to the Nuggets by a score of 108-95. The Heat had 19 personal fouls, while the Nuggets had 18. The Heat made 14 of 28 three-pointers, while the Nuggets made 16 of 21 free throws. The Nuggets also had a better rebounding margin, with 34 rebounds to the Heat's 37. The Nuggets had 26 assists and 11 steals, while the Heat had 23 assists and 2 steals. The Nuggets shot 49.4% from the field, while the Heat shot 44.9%. The Nuggets had a better free throw percentage, making 76.2% of their free throws, while the Heat made 85.0% of their free throws. Jimmy Butler was the leading scorer for the Heat, with 25 points. He shot 9 of 17 from the field and 5 of 9 from 3-point range. He also had 7 rebounds and 7 assists. Butler played 45 minutes in the game. The Heat will need to play better in Game 5 if they want to avoid elimination. They will need to rebound better, defend better, and make more free throws. Jimmy Butler will need to continue to play well, and the other Heat players will need to step up their games. The Heat averaged 109.5 points per game during the regular season, shooting 46% from the field. They also made 34.4% of their three-pointers and 83.1% of their free throws. The Heat averaged 40.6 rebounds per game and 1,955 assists. They turned the ball over 13.5 times per game and committed 18.5 personal fouls per game. The Heat's defense forced 15.7 turnovers per game and drew 20.0 personal fouls per game. They allowed opponents to shoot 48.2% from the field and 36.7% from three-point range. The Heat allowed opponents to average 41.8 rebounds per game and 109.8 points per game. In Game 4, the Nuggets outrebounded the Heat 34-37. The Nuggets also had 6 turnovers and 11 steals. The Heat committed 19 personal fouls, which led to 16 free throws made by the Nuggets. The Nuggets made 14 of 28 three-pointers and shot 49.4% from the field. The Heat shot 35 of 78 from the field and 8 of 25 from three-point range. The Heat shot 17 of 20 free throws. The Nuggets won Game 4 108-95. The Nuggets will look to close out the series in Game 5. The Heat will need to play better defense and rebound better if they want to force a Game 6. Aaron Gordon played well for the Nuggets, scoring 27 points, dishing out 6 assists, and grabbing 7 rebounds in 42 minutes. He shot 11 of 15 from the field for a field goal percentage of 73.3%. The Nuggets finished the regular season with a record of 53-29. The Nuggets have covered the spread in every game they have won in the finals so far, and there is no reason to think they will stop now. Denver has won three of the four games by 10 or more points, and they are simply the better team in this matchup. The size mismatch has been too much for Miami to overcome. Bam Adebayo is a good defender, but Nikola Jokic is still averaging over 30 points per game, and Miami has no other defender with enough size to slow down Aaron Gordon. Jamal Murray has also emerged as one of the best point guards in the league, and Jimmy Butler has been spending a lot of energy chasing him around because the other Miami guards could not defend him well enough. Look for Denver to put an exclamation point on an excellent season by closing out the finals with a double-digit win. I would recommend taking Denver to win and cover the spread. Our team pick is Nuggets minus 9 points. The Miami Heat had been playing very well at home in the playoffs, winning six of their first seven games at home. However, the Denver Nuggets have won both games in Miami so far in the NBA Finals, taking a 3-1 lead in the series. In Game 4, the Heat's All-Stars played well, but they did not get enough help from their supporting cast. Jimmy Butler had 25 points, 7 rebounds, and 7 assists, while Bam Adebayo added 20 points and 11 rebounds. The next highest scorer for Miami was Kyle Lowry with 13 points off the bench. Two Miami starters struggled, as Gabe Vincent only scored two points, and Max Struss did not score at all. 
their minutes were reduced accordingly, as neither player played more than 19 minutes. Duncan Robinson had 12 points off the bench, and Caleb Martin had just 11 points after his excellent performance in the conference finals. Tyler Harrow is questionable for Game 5, as he is still recovering from a broken hand. The rest of the Heat team is healthy going into this must-win game. Throughout the season, Miami had the 25th most efficient offense and the 8th most efficient defense, according to Dunksandthrees.com. Kevin Love has started the last few games and is likely to start again in Game 5 to combat Denver's size and strength inside. The Denver Nuggets are one win away from their first NBA championship. After losing Game 2 at home, the Nuggets have won three straight games, including two on the road. Nikola Jokic has been leading the way, averaging 30.8 ppg, 13.5 rpg, and 8.08 pg in the finals. Jamal Murray has added 23.3 ppg and is the first player to ever have 10-plus assists in the first four finals games of a series. The Nuggets have been dominating inside this series, but in Game 4 they also shot 50%, 14-28 from 3. When the Nuggets shoot that well they are virtually impossible to beat. Aaron Gordon imposed his will in mismatches, as Bam Adebayo had to guard Jokic, leaving Gordon with mismatches against the other Heat players. Gordon finished with 27 points, and Jokic added 23 points and 12 rebounds. Jamal Murray had 15 points and added 12 assists for Denver. Michael Porter Jr. has been quiet all series, he is only averaging 8.0 ppg throughout the finals, after averaging 17.4 in the regular season. Bruce Brown had an excellent game off the bench in Game 4, with 21 points on 8-11 shooting. Nikola Jokic appeared to roll his ankle in Game 4, but was able to play through the pain and will be available for Game 5. The rest of the Nuggets are healthy coming into this potentially series-ending game. The Nuggets rank 5th in offensive efficiency and 18th in defensive efficiency. Denver will look to finish off the season at home, where they were undefeated during their playoff run, except for the Game 2 loss to Miami. When the Nuggets have won games in the finals, the total points scored has been lower than the expected total. The only game that went over the total was Game 2, when Miami won on the road. When Denver wins, they slow down the pace of the game, use Nikola Jokic in the half court, and find mismatches after switches. Miami's role players have not been shooting well, which has stalled their offense. I do not expect the role players to start shooting well in Game 5, especially under the bright lights and thin air in Denver. This is the lowest total of the finals, as Vegas knows how Denver plays and expects the Nuggets to impose their will again. I recommend betting on the under for Game 5. In other words, the Nuggets have a style of play that is conducive to low-scoring games. They like to slow the pace down and grind out wins, which often leads to fewer points being scored. Miami's role players have also not been shooting well in the series, which has further contributed to the low scoring. With the game being played in Denver, which is at a higher altitude, it will be even more difficult for Miami's role players to get their shots to fall. As a result, I expect Game 5 to be a low-scoring affair. Our total pick is under 208 point.